Hey everyone, it's Sean today. In today's video, I want to show you how you can download and install the HoloLens emulator. So be sure to check out my video description. I've got a ton of links in there. All you really need is to install two things. The first thing is this Visual Studio 2015 Update 2. And the second thing that you need to install is the HoloLens emulator. As you can see here, you can get this from the Microsoft website, or I also link to this place uh, in my video description as well. All right, so let's dive right in. The first thing you wanna install is Visual Studio. So as you can see here, I've got it uh, installed. Again, the link is in my video description for you to be able to install this. All right, after you install it, you're gonna wanna go ahead and restart your computer. And then you're going to want to download the HoloLens emulator. Again, the link is in my video description. So you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and install the HoloLens emulator. Be sure to install Visual Studio first, restart your computer, and then install the HoloLens emulator. You're going to have to restart your computer again after you install this uh, emulator. So go ahead and uh, answer all the questions that you see here, accept all the user agreements, uh, make sure that those check boxes are checked on the left hand side and then go ahead and click install. Okay, so now that you have everything installed, go ahead and open up the Visual Studio app that you just installed. Okay, so in the main menu, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to file and then new project to create a new project. Now, what you want to do is create a new holographic project. So under templates over here on the left hand side, go down to Visual C++ or you can also do it in uh, Visual C Sharp if you prefer. Click open up Windows, and then open up Universal, and then you'll see under Universal you'll see Holographic. Okay, so now you can name it whatever you want over here, put it wherever you want. I'm just going to leave it here exactly as is and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Just go ahead and accept the defaults over here that's for the target and minimum versions and then it'll build the app template for you okay so now here's a bunch of code this is everything that it built for you you don't have to write a single line of code or even understand this to be honest now up above under here you'll see this uh, green arrow that says local machine okay you're gonna want to change that down to HoloLens emulator right here not simulator not device not anything but you want to do HoloLens emulator so go ahead and click on that now you can see next to the green arrow it says HoloLens emulator so to start the HoloLens emulator go ahead and click on this green arrow okay this is where the magic starts so go ahead and click yes when it asks if you want to build the code Okay, you may get this message over here that says you do not have permission to run the emulator. Uh, no problem, you just uh, click retry. Now, you do have to have Hyper-V enabled uh, to run this. So click on yes to give it permission and boom, you will see that the emulator is starting up. It gives you this nice little uh, visual style over here that you can actually drag around as I'm showing you. Now you can use your mouse to kind of look around now where all this uh, the blackness you see this is where um, the room would be now let's go ahead and try and open up something let's say let's open up uh, uh, Microsoft Edge okay so go ahead and right click it to open up that's gonna ask you to place it somewhere so go ahead and let's go ahead and place it right here okay so you can see this is Microsoft Edge and uh, this is the browser in window all right, let's try something else over here. Let's go ahead and uh, press the Windows button to open up this. Uh, you can even use uh, the uh, voice command. So I can say, hey, Cortana, open up the store. OK, here's store. And then, boom, it opens up the store. Again, I can place this, uh, maybe I can place this over here right next to my, right next to the Edge browser. So you can see here's the store and I can scroll up and down through the store. Excellent. Uh, let's do one last thing just for fun. Let's go ahead and uh, do some holograms. Okay, so let's place this right here. Let's do a hologram of the space shuttle. Okay, so now I can choose where to place the space shuttle. I want to place the space shuttle right there. Okay. 
Perfect. Okay, uh, one other thing I wanted to show you was the uh, device portal. So you can see on this uh, menu to the right, you'll see a bunch of different options that you can play around with. One that I want to show you is this globe icon, which is the device portal. Really, really cool. Um, you can see, for example, in this 3D view, you can see how you're looking around. So, for example, if I have the HoloLens over here, you can see that as I look up and down, left and right, you can see that the 3D view works as well. Now, you can actually see, uh, put in a room in there. So, for example, if I want to show uh, details, let's go and update that. You can see the room that I'm in, okay? So, you can see in here, I'm in a small room. Uh, there's some uh, like a table, a desk, bed over there. And with my HoloLens emulator, you can see where it's actually looking. Uh, you can go ahead and actually walk around in there. So you can see the ball moving as I'm walking to and from the HoloLens. And there you go. That is how to run the HoloLens emulator. You can explore all the settings. Uh, you can do a ton of stuff. You can uh, uh, just kind of yeah explore and have fun. It's really that simple to get started with the HoloLens emulator. Okay, there you go. That was my video. If you found this helpful, uh, do like the video and share it. And thank you very much for watching.